Want to learn more about the rise of kindergartens in the U.S.? Here are some references that can help get you started. First of all, we have Barbara Betty's Preschool Education in America. It helps contextualize kindergarten and other early childhood movements in the U.S. from the 19th and in the, into the 20th century. Again, the subtitle here is The Culture of Young Children from the Colonial Era to the Present. This is more narrowly focused. It doesn't look just at kindergarten, but if you want to understand the experiment that took place in St. Louis, in particular with kindergarten, then Selwyn Trowin's The Public and the Schools takes a look at the history of St. Louis education, the shaping of the St. Louis system from 1838 to 1920, and it's got a good, very readable chapter on the kindergarten movement that took place there. Now, if you want to get an understanding of how it was that infants were kicked out of the classroom in 19th century Massachusetts, and particularly a glimpse of the data involved, check out uh, Maris Vanowski and Carl Castle's essay from Apron Strings to ABCs, which is in the book Education and Social Change in 19th Century Massachusetts. For an understanding of the German influence uh, on the American women who were involved in the kindergarten movement, Ann Taylor Allen has a great essay, American and German Women in the Kindergarten Movement, 1850 to 1914, which is in this volume on German influences on education in the U.S. to 1917. This is a very readable book on the whole history of education reform in the U.S. It's called Tinkering Towards Utopia, A Century of Public School Reform by David Tyack and Larry Cuban. And they've got a great chapter, or at least a section of a chapter, that's on kindergarten reform, what it did and did not change. And finally, if you want to understand um, the kindergarten movement in the broader context of U.S. educational history, check out this textbook, America's Public Schools, From the Common Schools to No Child Left Behind by William J. Reese. It's a great primer if you want to just get a broad overview of educational history in the U.S. Take a look at this journal in particular if you're looking for journal articles on the history of education. It's uh, the History of Education Quarterly. And then finally, there are great primary sources if you want to just go back to the roots of 19th century kindergarten reformers. You can check out using the wonders of Google Books and other digitized primary sources, uh, the works of Johann Pestalozzi, of Friedrich Froebel, of Elizabeth Peabody, um, Emma Merwidal. There's a whole host of folks that you can, whose works you can find now using Google Books.